What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. A uh, quick video here, and I keep seeing this uh, question kind of pop up throughout the week. Jets start out their first five games, three and two, and suddenly now the conversation, it seems like, is starting to shift a little bit as far as whether or not we should increase expectations, perhaps even start talking playoffs. And I, I think the long answer is no, that obviously it, it's a young team. You're talking about a second-year head coach, second-year quarterback. Granted, you have a, an entire draft class pretty much that's playing at a, at a very high level right now. These guys are still very, very young. They haven't played a lot together yet. So from that standpoint, I think the expectations are still the same as far as just playing meaningful games in December, You know, continuing to develop these guys, have the arrow pointing up by the end of the year. But the only caveat I'm going to say to that is that year to year, you never know what could happen. And, you know, I, I think the Bengals are a good example right now where, you know, they, they had a magical run last year that nobody expected. But now, you know, they're, they're seeing this year, it, it's kind of hard to repeat. Um, even if you want to go back to the, the 98 Jets where, you know, heartbreaking loss to the Broncos in the championship game. But I remember, you know, I was, I was very young at the time, but I remember getting through that offseason by saying, you know what? That was one of the best Jets teams I've ever seen. We're going to be right back there again next year. And then, of course, Vitty tears his ACL week one uh, against the Patriots. And, you know, Bill Parcells waits forever uh, to, to put Ray Lucas in there. And by the time he did, you know, the season was pretty much out of reach. So just year to year, you never know what to expect. And that's why I feel like the Jets are in a pretty unique position right now where not a lot of teams in the AFC that we thought might be powerhouses are playing at a really high level. A lot of quarterbacks that we thought were going to be elite haven't been playing at that elite level. Um, you look at the injury report as well. The, the Jets injury report, I, I, and I will give Sala so much credit on this because I was one of the, the biggest cr uh, critics of the way he handled training camp. Considering the schedule, the first four games, AFC North, I wanted to see a tough, hard-nosed training camp where these players were just really getting after it, really hitting each other, like really putting in that work. So I, I was really disappointed at, as far as the days that we were out there because it just looked like it, it was more about communication, going through the motions and things like that. But now that you got to three and two and you have a roster that's pretty much entirely healthy. I mean, Jermaine Johnson's the only guy that's not expected to play this Sunday. Uh, Quincy Williams, he's back practicing. You know, Zach Wilson's been a full go now the last two weeks. You know, the only other guy they really lost to, of any significance was Makai Becton. So you give Salah plenty of credit for the way that he ultimately handled training camp and the fact that this roster is so healthy right now. Um, you could even give Salah a lot of credit for just the, the tone of the locker room, you know, saying after the win on Sunday, like, hey, th this should be the expectation. You know, this should be normal. You know, we should be able to enjoy games like this. Um, and then even uh, the other day where he was like, you know, you guys should be able to appreciate and enjoy a win. You know, even though we've accomplished nothing, you should still feel good about yourself and enjoy the fact that we're playing well as a young team. So, you know, while I want to talk playoffs, I, I think that conversation probably comes if the Jets split one of these next two games. If you're coming home at 4-3 and three with a chance to, to take advantage of a, a Patriots team that's kind of banged up a little bit right now, who knows, you know, where Mac Jones is going to be at that point. Um, but I, I really have a lot of confidence in the Jets when they do come back home against the Patriots. I, I think that's going to be a game, you know, following a, a Dolphin win at home that the fans are really going to show up for. So if they can find a way to split one of these next two, and I know Green Bay is not going to be easy, but I, I definitely think that this is a, a winnable game more so than some other people believe. Uh, the Packers don't really have the weapons that they've had in the past. Uh, they do have a strong running game. They do have a, a very good defense. I think they've allowed the, the second fewest yards passing. So I'll do an, uh, an official video as far as a preview and prediction on, on Jets Packers. But for right now, as far as the expectations and what people are looking for, you know, I, I still want to see meaningful games in December, but I'm not going to lie. If we can find a way to get to, to five wins by the bye, five and four, I, I'm talking playoffs. Uh, I'm sorry. There, there, there's no reason why we should be ashamed or embarrassed to, to have that conversation or to feel like, oh, you know, we're, we're not there yet. Well, uh, the Bengals probably weren't there yet at, at the start of last year either. And as the season progressed, all those guys were getting better, and they were worthy of that run that they went on. So, you know, we were saying in the offseason, why not the Jets? Well, now it's kind of looking like, hey, really, why not the Jets? Why not the Jets this year when it's, you know, a, a number of teams that were supposed to be great that have gotten off to some really tough starts and are dealing with a lot of injuries right now? So I, I think this could be special um, as far as the run that they go on and ultimately how it could translate to next year, too. You know, you want to build momentum, carry some things over to next year. You know, I, I did say before that, you know, each year is kind of a separate entity. But as far as young players developing and coming into next year with some confidence, knowing that they can do it, 
I think these next few weeks are very, very important. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is my lunch break, so I'm getting back to lunch. Talk to you guys later.